the tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel according to John, when the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. I see you, Jesus, naked, as I have never seen you before. They have stripped you of your garments, Jesus, and are casting dice for them. In the eyes of these men, you have lost the last shred of your remaining dignity, your one possession on this, your journey of suffering. Yet at the beginning of time, your father had sewn garments for men to clothe them in dignity. Now, men strip that garment off your back. I see you, Jesus, and I see a young migrant his body ravaged, who arrives in a land that all too often is heartless, ready to strip off his garment, his one treasure, and to sell it. To leave him alone with this cross, like yours, alone with his disfigured skin, like yours, alone with his eyes brimming with tears of pain, like yours. Yet there is something we often forget about dignity. It is found beneath your skin. It is part of you and will always be with you. All the more at this moment in this nakedness. The nakedness in which we are born is the same as the nakedness with which the earth will receive us in the evening of our lives from one mother to another, and now here on this hill, your mother is also present. Once again, she sees you naked. I see you and I understand the grandeur and the splendor of your dignity, the dignity of every person, which no one will be able to erase. Let us pray. I ask you, Lord, grant that all of us may acknowledge the dignity belonging to our nature, even when we find ourselves naked and alone before others. Grant that we may always see the dignity of others, respect it, and defend it. We ask you to grant us the courage needed to understand ourselves as more than the clothing we wear and to accept our own nakedness. It reminds us of our poverty with which you fell in love even to give your life for us. In your name we pray, amen.